Hey guys, I want to give you guys a quick update on eGold. I did one two days ago and uh, just, you know, it's such a popular coin and I want to make sure I keep everyone uh, up, to, up to date with what's going on. If you're new here, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you guys also jump into the Discord. There's a link to the Discord down in the description below. And also, if you guys are wondering what other coins are in my portfolio, there's a link down in the description. You can see all the coins I hold in my portfolio. Um, let's jump right into it here. If you want to request a coin, there's a link down in the description. You can click that link and request me to review a coin on YouTube. Um, let's check it out here. So this was a point of resistance and it actually flipped into support. All right, we closed above it yesterday. We're holding above it today. There's a chance we could go back below it, but I think we're I think we're in the I think we're in the clear here. Uh, last time I did a video, I did say that it would probably drop down to this area here, the uh, 122 area, and we did. We bounced right off of it. Um, at, on yesterday, one, uh, 122 was the low on the wick, and now we're moving to the upside here. So what we're gonna do actually is I'm gonna draw a, um, I'm gonna draw a bullish arrow. I see us retesting this again the 195 area this is where we hit resistance last time and then we're going to possibly see another uh, reversal a little reversal probably probably down to here this is the next point of resistance here I'm gonna actually make this a solid line uh, 170, 168, we've been here before, guys. We know about this resistance area. We're actually bouncing right off of it here, right? So um, I'd like to see us bust right through this. Um, it's not that strong of a resi resistance. I'd like to see us test the 192 area. Um, although more realistically... Yeah, I, I think this is I think this is a good call here. I think this is a good call. There is a psychological area here at 168. Um, definitely within the next couple days, this candle is bullish. We need another candle above this to close as a green two. So we have a green one here. We need a green two. If we get that, we're off to the races here. Okay, there's not there's there is resistance here, but it's not like it's very strong resistance. Like we could get over this. So what, what I see happening realistically is hitting this line, a short, a short term, I'm actually going to consolidate this because this is like, this timeline seems too long to me. So hitting this line, a short term reversal, okay, and then off to the races. Okay. And what I mean by off to the races, I would say our next our next price point is around 299, 300. Okay, we might see a little bit of resistance here at 237 because this, this there was the wick here, but um, I do see us really heading into another big move to the $300 price point within uh, within possibly the month of, of February. I think it's very reasonable to ex to see that and kind of expect that. Uh, the way Elrond moves because of its low market, uh, low coin circulating supply, it moves quick and fast. So I'm expecting a, a $300 price point by the end of February. Guys, I really appreciate all the support you give me. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the Discord and I'll see you on the next video.